Hi, I want to talk about my new favorite Firefox plugin, which is called XRefresh. Uh, you can get it here, and it's uh, made by a guy named Antonin Hildebrand, and uh, which is not me, by the way. Basically, XRefresh is a, a small server that will monitor any uh, directory that you tell it to, and for example, your project's directory. And whenever anything changes in that directory, it will refresh Firefox for you. And this is really handy for development. Uh, as you make changes, Firefox is always displaying them for you. Uh, so it's really helpful. Let me show you how it works. Here's a project that I'm working on right now. And what I want to do is add a tab. Uh, since we're in the About Us section right now, I want this tab to be on uh, to indicate that we're in that section in Greetings. So I'm using the Zen Tools web development framework. Here's my layout file, which contains my navigation. And what I really want to do is just add class equals selected to this tab here. So, you know, I, I could do that by just adding that. But the problem with doing it that way is that this is my layout file. So that means that the About Us tab would be selected everywhere in the site. Obviously, I don't want that. Uh, since I'm using Zen Tools, I can just add a class to the content, the inner content file. And Zentools lets you do that with uh, this, what's called a page setting. Add class. The first argument is the name of the ID, which in this case is the About Us tab. And the second argument is the class you want to add, which is selected. Uh, but actually, there's a shortcut. Since selected is such a common idiom, it's such a common class that you'd want to add, uh, Zentools lets you do it this way instead. Selected About Us tab. Now watch what happens when I click Command S. Uh, when I do that, I don't have to go to Firefox and refresh. It will do it automatically. So right now, Command S. And as you can see, there it is. Uh, so what we've done is added the class equals select to that tab. Just saved it. Firefox shows it to us immediately. So that's pretty cool uh, because you, that means what I just demonstrated is that it's not just HTML. Uh, you can do this with PHP files, Ruby files. Uh, even if you edit your background images, for example, in Photoshop, as you save them, uh, it's constantly being refreshed in Firefox, so all your changes are, are reflected immediately. Very cool. Uh, with CSS and JavaScript, XRefresh does something even cooler, though. It loads it dynamically without even refreshing the page. It just reloads your CSS or JavaScript. So here's the other thing I want to demonstrate here. This is... Uh, uh, obviously, it's black, and I think it should be a little lighter. Also, this menu is too small, and I want to add a little margin here. So I can do all these things really easily, just editing some CSS, and you'll see that it's reflected right away. Uh, so first of all, let's just change that color. That's the most irritating thing. So if we just do that, instantly it's refreshed, and you can see the changes. And same thing over here. I just want to get rid of that. Uh, make, try to make this menu a little bit bigger, and also give it a little margin on the left. Margin left, let's say 10 pixels, I save it, and it's instant. So, very cool. Uh, obviously, you'd normally do this in two monitors, have your uh, Firefox in one monitor and, and your text editor in the other one, and you never really have to leave your text editor window just as you keep coding and saving, just keep an eye on the other monitor and all your changes are reflected as you go. If you uh, are interested in Zen Tools, which I've showed here, you can find out more about that at zentools.net. Thanks for watching.